Alright, this is a Trinitron KV1365 by Sony. Then I got the whopping, for the whopping sum of one dollar. And it works as is. These are a trip to watch warm up. <laughs> Of course the camera is blanking out the picture so it doesn't look quite as good as it does in person. Uh, in one minute or less you can dial the toll free number. You David, I came by here that night. See if you change your mind about being alone and you weren't here. I'm sorry, that night you weren't here. Land, no one has ever given you any rights to me. There's the channel indicator below the Sony logo. In the door we got uh, hue, color, bright picture, and cable on and off for the tuner. And there's a slider control right there for volume. And it has audio video input. And we'll see if that works right now. It says please wait at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, that startup screen really, really, really looks nice. In fact, I don't know that I've ever seen that disc look so blue. This is no disc, so. Just a moment. I'll also mention that this uh, set has earphone jack and the tint, color, hue, brightness, all that good stuff in there. And it's that right there is a switch for the cable on and off, cable or airway. And that's the input select tuner and channel up and down. As you can see, this the channel up and down buttons are missing. That's that's my most major problem with this set. And it has buttons numbered one through zero with enter that you would press after you key in what channel number you want to watch and the power on and off. This set is not remote. Loading a Blu ray. I would also like to mention that uh, Radio TV Phono Nut has a video on this set and uh, it can be seen in one of Technology Connections videos. And here is the rear panel of the TV and there's the information that's on the rear unfortunately the sticker that has the data manufacturer is gone There's the, somewhere through there is going to be the information sticker. 